Hello everyone, Nathan Forst here again. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the extinction or expansion of the human race. In the beginning of my last video, Reed Mellenfant is speaking to a group of investors and entrepreneurs, asking them to invest money in private space industry. He goes on to illustrate the danger of the present human condition, warning of the strong likelihood that human beings could go extinct within a very short time frame, unless preventative measures are taken. The obvious course of action to prevent humanity's extinction is to begin a wave of expansion and colonization. We would begin in the inner solar system with places like the moon, Mars, and perhaps with enough future scientific knowledge, we could even terraform two of our closest neighbors, Mars and Venus. Even now there are people, scientists and amateurs alike, that are working on successful terraforming theories that may, in the future, save humanity from extinction. If you would like to read up on and research terraforming, please do so. I will leave links in the description box. Humanity is the first species to evolve on planet Earth that has the capability to prevent its own demise. It is true when Baxter says in his book that at any moment we could be extinct. We are facing challenges today that very few previous generations have faced, and most of the challenges to humanity's survival are self-imposed. We may be the first species that can prevent its own destruction, but likewise, we are also the first that can annihilate itself. But we won't go down alone, oh no. Humanity has the power to end most of the life on this planet. Unlike previous ages, we now have the capability of complete and total planetary destruction through nuclear, biological, chemical, and conventional weaponry. We are so scared of each other and ourselves that concepts like MAD, mutually assured destruction, are commonplace in governments worldwide. We have not just built a few of these weapons of mass destruction, which would certainly do the job, but instead have bloated and utterly useless and quite frankly terrifying stockpiles. The acronym MAD certainly illustrates the point of this doctrine. Mutually assured destruction is an insane military doctrine. All we need is some yahoo going off the deep end and causing a nuclear war, ending the human race's future. Forever. Can you imagine walking down the street and seeing a nuclear mushroom cloud on the horizon? Or worse, can you imagine waking up one morning and being caught in such a blast? Truth be told, you probably would not know what hit you. But you would be dead all the same. And with military doctrines, such as MAD, you would not be the last to fall. Oh no. Millions will follow you into the grave. Perhaps the entire goddamn planet. And what a waste that would be. Here we are, a sentient species that can think and feel, love and hate, and create beautiful, artful masterpieces unknowable in previous ages. Indeed, we may be alone in the universe. We may be the first. We may be the last. And this, my friends, underscores the severity of the situation. What if we are alone in the universe? What if we are the only mind that is aware of itself in the entire universe? What a heavy weight to be burdened with. Perhaps we are burdened with the heaviest responsibility of all, to propagate mind into the deep. Think of the grand future that lays before us. Think of our posterity. Imagine the future evolutionary tree of humanity, spreading out into the cosmos, colonizing and creating civilizations. Over time, evolution would work on the segregated fragments of humanity, spread over the great distances of the deep, until eventually we become alien, in the strictest sense of the word, to one another. Imagine the vast empires of humanity's legacy spreading out and propagating mind throughout the universe. Humanity creates alien life by simply expanding and colonizing. We become the aliens of science fiction by the slow process of evolution. Now imagine that tree shrinking and dying, ending with our current generation. What a crime that would be. If we self-destruct, mind and consciousness and soul die with us. It is true what Baxter said. There will not even be anyone left to mourn our passing. This concludes part one of this series. 
I think I am going to do a few more videos on this subject. It is a fascinating concept and I have received a lot of feedback from various YouTubers who are also interested in this. As usual, please leave video and text responses. Thank you.